Good morning, middle school, and welcome to Friday. For HMS Today, I'm your host, Nate Shingleton. As usual, we have a lot to bring to you, so let's start with the morning announcements by Mr. Keller. Thanks, Nate. The 8th grade trivia challenge for students who are interested in participating in that will take place on Friday, March 20th after school. You must submit your forms and payment to Mrs. Noble in room 208 by Monday, March 16th. Remember, you may have up to six players on your team and provide $10 for each player. We hope to have you join us for this fun competition to benefit the Sky's the Limit Courtyard. Any questions, please see Mrs. Noble. Don't forget to order your yearbooks either by form or online before the March 27th deadline. Running Club will take place today, weather permitting, at 2 o'clock p.m. in room 249. Student Council Spirit Week is, Student Council is excited to announce that next week is Spirit Week. Please remember that school rules concerning dress code must be adhered to, but if anyone wants to add a hat to their Spirit Week attire, just give a dollar to your homeroom teacher to be donated to Sky's the Limit. On Monday, the classic Spirit Week theme of Pajama Day kicks off the week. On Tuesday, Netflix Day encourages you to dress up like your favorite character from your most binge-worthy TV show. On Wednesday, we celebrate Desire to Inspire by wearing the marathon colors of yellow and blue, marathon t-shirts, or Desire to Inspire t-shirts. On Friday, we show our class spirit and solidarity by dressing as follows. Eighth graders wear green, seventh graders wear orange, and sixth graders wear white. Happy birthday today to Hannah Deal, Sonu Ayer, Olivia Jones, Michael Roach, and Connor Sullivan. On Saturday, happy birthday to Nia Gopi, Ben Leibowitz, Emery Peterson, Camilla Schemmel. On Sunday, happy birthday to Catherine Knox, Megan McClay, Andrew Moore, and Kyle Weldon. Have a great day, a great weekend, and back to you, Nate. Thanks, Mr. Keller. Now let's talk about goals. Are you ready for me? Um, just a sec. And now, let's talk about goals. In addition to a student and faculty person sharing the goals with us, we'll start off with Mrs. Grady giving us some motivation. Okay, now. Mario Andretti said, desire is the key to motivation, but it's determination and commitment to an unrelenting pursuit of your goal, a commitment to excellence that will enable you to attain the success you seek. At this time, I would encourage you to look at your goals. Talk to your friends and family and teachers about your progress. It's important to keep yourself accountable. The determination and commitment you put into reaching your goals will help you realize your goals. I've decided to keep my daily progress on the whiteboard in my office as well as in my personal notebook. It will help remind me to stay on track and also be a visible reminder of the progress I am making. I've enlisted lots of supporters, including all of you. Every time you ask me about my progress, I feel more determined to do better tomorrow and that I will have success. The biggest challenge is not in whatever your finish line is, but much more in the journey you take to cross it. Keep working hard, stay determined, be committed, and you will be sure to have excellence and success. Hi, my name is Kayla Kampelik, and I am in seventh grade, and my goal is to study 26.2 minutes every day until April 10th. I have two goals. My first is to continue to improve Hopkins in middle school by regularly meeting with student groups and student teams, like principals advisory, and soliciting their feedback on how we can continue to improve our school, and doing the exact same thing with teacher teams and teacher groups on focusing on uh, how to improve our school this year as well as next year. My second goal is very personal, and that is uh, to reduce my dependence on my phone by uh, leaving it at the door when I enter my house and leaving it uh, inside when I'm going outside to walk my dog and doing uh, fun activities outdoors. Next up, we have the question of the day. Today's question is, if you could live anywhere, where would you live? I live in the Bahamas. In a dormant volcano. Under a rock. Bermuda. The great state of Maine. Burbank, California, because that's where Ellen lives. Florida. Malibu. I will live in Hawaii because it's warm. California to escape the snow. Under the sea like Ariel. I'd live in Mexico because they have good food. I would live in Paris because it's a beautiful city. I love all things French. It has great food and j'adore Paris. I would uh, live in Hawaii. I would live in Hawaii. 
or in Arctica to swim with the penguins. I would live on Cape Cod. I would like to live in Hawaii. I would go back to prehistoric times so I could see Mrs. Daniel as a child. Hi, Mrs. Daniel. I would live in space. A future where Mr. Carney is nice to me. The International Space Station. Excellent. Thanks to everyone who answered our question. Boy, all that took up a lot of our time today. Tune in next time for the return of Fun Fact Friday. Till then, for all of us who at HMS TV, I'm Nate Shingleton, and now get ready for Lip Dub. Get ready for the Lip Dub. Get ready. Get ready for Lip Dub. The Lip Dub. Get ready for Lip Dub. Get ready for the Lip Dub. Yeah.